I want to, I want to be a fisherman and I want to eat fresh fish all the time. When I grow up, I want to be an oceanographer to study where the waves come from. I will be a sailor to travel the world. Quand je serai grand, je voudrais être biologiste marin pour protéger les tortues de créatures marines. Sustaining and preserving the ocean will depend on the next generation of ocean professionals. They are the future of our planet ocean. But how can we make these kids' dreams come true? Are we really aware of how our day-to-day -day actions affect the ocean? It's 2004. In the United States, a group of ocean scientists and education professionals start to work to develop a framework to encourage the inclusion of ocean sciences into national and state standards and for more teaching about the ocean in classrooms at all levels. This is how the ocean literacy movement was born. Since then, it has spread quickly through the development of marine science educators associations in Canada, Australia, Pacific regions, Europe, and Asia. These associations are consistently promoting, through collaborative and bottom-up processes, the inclusion of ocean literacy in formal and informal education. Scientists, educators, teachers, artists, journalists, governments, and the private sector have risen to the occasion and given life to a global network that converts ocean knowledge into action. Regions, countries, and cities are stepping up to experiment new ways of bringing ocean literacy into every citizen's life. Portugal translated the Ocean Literacy Essential Principles in 2011. The European Union, Canada and the United States elevated ocean literacy as one of the cooperation priorities. In 2013, the Galway Statement on Atlantic Ocean Research was signed. Supporting the implementation of the Galway Statement led to two Horizon 2020 projects, Sea Change Project and Responsible, aiming to make European citizens more ocean literate. Canada co-developed by Canadians for Canadians through a community-driven engagement process in which over 400 organizations and more than 3,000 Canadians participated in the country's ocean literacy strategy. Australia has hosted since 1988 a Sea Week to promote ocean literacy in the country. Combining its global expertise in ocean science, culture and education, UNESCO has led ocean literacy efforts around the world. Presented in 2017 at the first UN Ocean Conference, the UNESCO's Ocean Literacy for All initiative paved the way for the launch of the Global Ocean Literacy Portal. The publication of a toolkit for schools tested in 36 countries around the world and the organization of an international ocean literacy conference held in the UNESCO office in Venice. This international ocean literacy conference was a true milestone for the ocean literacy community, which started calling on governments to join the movement. The Blue Schools Network promoted by the Portuguese Ministry of the Sea, the European Coalition, EU for Ocean, launched by the European Commission, the first ever ocean literacy law, approved by the city of Santos in Brazil, the first city in the world to establish ocean literacy as a public policy. Ocean literacy ambitions continue to grow and the Ocean Literacy with All initiative is now underway 
to meet one of the major challenges of the UN Ocean Decade, reshape humanity's relationship with the ocean. Ocean Literacy with All wants to advance ocean literacy through international partnerships and networks, implementing transformative local and global activities and projects by and for diverse stakeholders. From grassroots initiatives to international, regional and national initiatives, the Ocean Literacy Moment has arrived. The Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission of UNESCO has launched a proposal for a new blue curriculum, addressing learners' core knowledge related to marine science, and also providing the tools needed to turn the next generation into ocean stewards. A true generation ocean.